Okay, guys, okay. Um, we have a very special guest. We have a very special guest. We know that's just you on the phone. It's not just me on the phone. Shut up. Listen, guys, we have a very special guest. None of you are going to guess who this guest is, okay? Um, we have a very special segment set up for this next 20, 30 minutes, if that may be. Um, I'm excited to introduce somebody near and dear to my heart. Um, we're going to bring them on. I'm gonna, you guys can talk to him for a second while I run downstairs. I gotta grab something. Um, it is not Dwayne The Rock Johnson, but actually pretty close. Pretty close, same realm. Um, why don't you come over here, sir? You're gonna look right here. And uh, this is the chat, so okay, you can cool. see people over here. Guys, this is Matthew. How's it going, my friends? Uh, Tyler's older brother. Yep. Some of you who were here about an hour ago just watched a bunch of reviews. Of the root beer reviews, the root beer guy. I am the root beer We're guy. doing the root beer. Yes. We're doing curveball. Oh yeah. Um, he, culinary Barts. The culinary Barts, and uh, there's Tyler. There he is. <laughs> Tyler, Tyler, did, Tyler. Is this a surprise? I didn't tell him. God, he's so and, cool. And my like five calls of the day, uh, I didn't mention it to him. Are we sure that's not Tyler? Um, so one thing, so we <laughs> I were, a beard than Tyler. so one thing that we were, when we noticed we were watching your reviews, you know, we, for, we started with the one where you were wearing the rain, rain, rain dogs, rain dogs, Tom and Waits. you, you great, talked great about album. that. Great album for a Halloween too. Somebody was like, man, this guy's taste of music. Great. Whatever. And then later you were wearing the Tiger Woods skeleton shirt. Yeah. Which review was that for? I'm not sure. I can look. I mean, um, look. Either way, we were all like. That's a sick <laughs> shirt. Is that a, is that like a is that a legit Nike so, shirt? No, is that that so that, guy? that's a guy Austin uh, Austin AG. You can you can look on if you follow him on Instagram. Um, Austin AG. He he makes bootleg shirts. They're all like sports slash Grateful Dead. S. That's why they're all skeletons because he's a big deadhead. Um, but he does across sports. So like if you like soccer, baseball, basketball, whatever you like, he's LeBron. He has, you know, I have one for the Celtics. It's just like a Celtics um, skeleton with a hat. It looks exactly like like Lucky, um, the, the leprechaun, but a skeleton. But yeah, they're not legit Nike shirts. I'm pretty sure he might have got a cease and desist because he slowed down his stuff, and I got, like, a sweatshirt that said, like, that's the end of it. But then I got the Tiger Woods shirt, and okay. he keeps on. I think he's just keeping it real low. Okay. I'm not sure. He did some... He did some um, merch for the Cavs yeah. but one time, and I'm pretty sure Nike then looked at his other stuff and then got... Maybe a little bit upset. I don't know because he has the Nike swoop on it. It's it's not a legit Nike shirt. Sure. But um, yeah, I think I think um, he might have something to do with Nike because I don't know. It, it's so legit and his shirts are super super awesome. Um, but yeah, Austin, A U S T I N A dot G. We'll get you guys Instagram. a link for that guy because those yeah. shirts are sick. We were commenting. We're like, you clearly put a lot of care and thought into your shirt shirt wearing for the reviews so i have to give a shout we out what we oh, want more of that like in the beginning of the review like give us why you're wearing that shirt i mean that's I, just me. I, know, I love it and, and anybody who has any any like critiques because this is like really my first time doing it i just do it for like just for fun for myself i love that people watch it but i just kind of started getting a love for root beer and there's so many different root beers out there but my boss at uh, magnolia wine company in watertown shout out to them uh he was like you know I, my first review is like you know you have all these really cool shirts because i have a my brother and Sammy know that I have a large collection of t-shirts uh, kind of an issue well, I'm not on Instagram anymore because it's like shooting fish in a barrel it's selling me a t-shirt it's honestly <laughs> kind of sad but um so you got rid of Instagram because it was too easy to market to you t-shirts yes okay <laughs> I was wondering why I couldn't find you on Instagram yeah, recently it, 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 yeah then then you know the Funko Pop thing happened yeah, and I got away from that <laughs> so, um, we're, okay. so now we're on root beer but um yeah, yeah. yeah but no yeah at least it's um, a perishable consumable good exactly it goes away and it's, and it's only two dollars <laughs> yeah. usually or less yeah, uh, yeah. but um yeah no um, so shout out to, to Jay at Magnolia Wine Company. Um, yeah, he, he he got me. He's like, you know, you have all these great t-shirts. You should really wear, like, your sports gear. I'm going to try to work on maybe getting a background of something. Or, like, I try to focus. I have some posters. But, it's, it's you know, it's where we're in the baby basement stages of this. So we're just going to build it, hopefully. We have uh, we have Joey saying, God, his beard is so majestic. Then Tyler falling open. He bought, like, 22 tie-dye shirts. He will. So what I did is I, yeah, I had tie-dye. Well, hold on. Is that true? I have about more than that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, like, what in happened? In one month, he said. You bought 22 tie-dye t-shirts in one month. Well, let's let's preface this. I had a lot of t-shirts okay. that I, I, I had, and then I sent them to this guy, uh, Lazy Lightning. To who's, tie-dye them? To tie-dye them. Another guy on Instagram. If you're ever looking okay. for, for, for some tie-dye on Instagram, Lazy Lightning, uh, phenomenal. We're he does going to get a list of these from yeah, you. And I'll, 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 I'll post them in the yeah, Discord. Definitely. I um, sent them to him, and I did spend a hefty penny for him to, to, to 
So a lot of those are um, one-offs. He just does them. Yeah, but yeah, I did. I, I, I amassed a lot. Um, also, a lot of a lot of Steely Dan T-shirts. So we wear we wear uh, we have tie-dye Tuesday here. We wear tie-dye every Tuesday. All right, cool. Um, so I got you. Good, I got you guys. Yeah, oh yeah, actually, I will show you guys the shirt that Matthew gave me for my birthday this year. Unbelievable shirt. You guys, some of you have actually already seen it on the stream. Uh, Matthew, if you can, you sure. can just read the chat. Like they'll talk Definitely. to you and stuff. I'm Definitely. gonna go. So, so yeah, I just want to show this shirt. So uh, I don't know. This is I figured this was a good shirt to wear today because uh, you know Space Man Splash. We got Daniel Donato's Cosmic Country, and you got I got a alien with, like juggling eggs. Um, so he's phenomenal. I don't know if anybody's heard of him before, but he's coming out with an album early November. He has one out already. I saw him live last Sunday. It was probably one of the best concerts I've seen. Do you want me to show? Yeah, you can show that. Uh, this is the yeah. This is a, a shirt that I got, Sammy. Uh, I love Snoop, Snoopy, and if you can see, it's Snoopy wearing a, a steal your face. Um, it's this one's. Uh, forget who this one's by. It's slipping my mind right now. I'll think of it later. But um, he does a ton of other stuff. Let me see if I can find it. It's on my phone somewhere. I'll tell you who that guy is. Um, but yeah, let's see. <laughs> we're, we're Dynamo. Thank you, friends. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let's see. Uh... Snoopy, tie-dye. Let's see if I can find it. I can't find it right wow. now, but I'll, I'll get the name to Sammy at some point. Hey, 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 John C., I saw your text. Thank you so much. I'm excited. Do I work out? I do work out. I thank you you say that. I actually, I, I in the process of getting in better shape, I, I try my best to work out. Tyler, we got Caplock's T on board too. We go to 52 Fitness, right? And I think it's Belmont, but he, with my, my man Steve, he's the man. Um, <laughs> I love, crazy how this man thinks about his wardrobe choice. And Tyler's out there. Ooh, I love it. How, how are these looking? These are this great. one's for you. I'll, this, this is my chili smoke. For sure. Ooh, that we got, looks like we got a some more mugs. cup for you. All right, so. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah I, I'm just just had that's just a heads up. <sighs> yeah, we love Snoopy. It was a very thoughtful gift. He knows he knows I love Snoopy, and it's just it's a great fucking tie dye shirt. We love it. I love it. I'm probably gonna be turning it into a cutoff soon because this is just it's just like look at this thing, dude. Are it's you so kidding great. me? Are you kidding me? It's awesome. Big Snoopy guy here. I think so you need to lift the camera up a bit, or I'm just going to like. I'm just gonna raise the desk. I can't like I don't I don't want to change the camera. Sure, Tyler knows where this is from. Harmon's cheese up in uh, New Hampshire. I don't have any I don't have any cheddar in here, but I do. You didn't bring me any cheddar. I didn't have any cheddar. I ate it all. Fair enough. All right. So what are we? Did you tell them what we're reviewing? No, I have no I idea. I haven't taken out. So today we got um, which one of my favorites? I've been waiting to do this one. I've had it before, but I haven't rated it yet. Uh, where is it? Where's our view? Hanks. Hanks is from Philadelphia. So let me just give you a little bit of lowdown of Hanks. So it says here, I'll just read this quickly to you because history of Hanks. Hanks Please. Gourmet Beverages is a family business based in Philadelphia with a history in the beverage industry that goes back 40 years. <laughs> Hanks Root Beer was first introduced in 1995, so this is a relatively new product. And since we've grown where you can find our product in stores over 40 states and always online. I haven't, I mean, I've found it in other places. They have it at Cracker Barrel, so if you're ever to Cracker Barrel, they have that. Tyler got me one of those. Uh, and then... Hank's initial success was in the restaurant trade in Philadelphia and surrounding areas. Consumer demand drove explosion into all types of accounts from chain and upscale restaurants. So basically, we're dealing with one of the best. And, and I, I just want to preface this. So I've been looking on Reddit and other places, and Hank's is always up there in people's top top echelon. I'm not going to say where it is, okay. but it's always on the list somewhere okay. in like the top 20 around there. Okay. So... That's high, high regard. High regard. So here we go. So let's um, just, do you want to... And there's a couple questions in here. Well, we can skip the Sammy looks like Edna next yeah. to him. What's my favorite root beer right now? So the favorite one I've done so far is Sprecher. Um, Are these twisties? The twisties, Oh, yeah. okay. Easy twist. twist. That's something I was commenting a lot on. Cheers. Here we go. And let's see. Timmy! So you see, I like this one. A lot of, a lot of carbonation. Carbonation on this one's good. A lot of carbonation. Here, your glass is a little out of frame there. Here we go. Here we go. You see, I like that. You see how you get that head on the top? I'm looking. Wow. Yours has got some more. Yeah, yours, it's the great. I mean, I might have poured it. No, that's perfect. Yeah. You, you, it, it's also like the glass is going to change yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, off the bat, you know, it smells like root beer. I'm not, really, I'm not really, you know, it's got that caramel sweetness. 
and twist it off because you were you were struggling with those first two. And I yeah. I commented, I was like, is there a correlation between how tight this cab is on and the carbonation? I have found you that. Yeah, yeah, that one. The, this, this one's even though this was yeah. an easy one, it didn't feel like. Yeah. The, when you did, it was the one. It was Sue, Sue came off oh, really easy, easy. Yeah, and there wasn't any carbonation. And there was no carbonation. I the also, next one came off. Yeah. But there was more carbonation. I also got that one at a candy store in New Hampshire, so I don't know how long it was sitting on the shelf too. Which is dude, this is yeah. delicious. Here we go. I mean, it smells really good. Yeah. It smells clean. It smells fresh. Yeah. Let's go. Oh man. Wow. That's phenomenal. The thing I love about this one, and I've had it before, is the creaminess. That's clean. It like it, that it is very creamy. It, it coats your. And also, I like it. Good throat coat. Good, good coat of your, your tongue. It also, like, not one flavor is overpowering the next. It's super well balanced, I would say. Wow. I like it. Yeah, that's, that's, that is just, like, good, clean fun. And it almost, like, so the one I like about this one, too, it almost feels like you put a little bit of, like, you know, I love a good root beer float. Oh, you see? And I love this that. This is like a root beer float. It's a almost like, beer. yeah. It, it almost tastes like a root beer float without the without ice cream. Without the ice cream, exactly. That's it's like what vanilla. I, yeah, it's definitely got a lot of vanilla in it. Wow. And a little caramel. I think this is, is, is a very vanilla favorite one. And for me, like, I like the wintergreen, but sometimes, like, there's one, there's a brewery in, um, in, um, the Cape in Mashpee called Knockabout, and they make their own. Knockabout Brewery. Knockabout Brewery, they make their own. And every single time I drink it, I get acid indigestion because there's so much wintergreen in it. I mean, I'm more of a creamy root beer guy, um, so I'm going to rate this pretty highly. Mm. I think I am, too. I actually like vanilla a lot. I, I do, too. When you were mentioning, like, I like honey. Yep. Maple, I'm not a big maple guy, so I yeah. feel like if we did a maple one, I wouldn't like That's it That's why I'm much. glad we talked about that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. This is just so drinkable. It's That's like, the thing. It's, it's like, like not too sweet. It has great carbonation, but it doesn't overwhelm your mouth. Nice. It is a perfect. It is a perfect. Oh, we already have a nine. So I, I so I had I had, uh, Sprecher at nine six. Spreaker is that Sprecher, not? Spreaker. Spreaker. I call it Spreacher, but it's Spreacher. It's Sprecher. I, I, I but it was sometimes they want to sip. Spreacher at nine six. So. Was there another one that you did in the nine? No, you did another one in the nine. First nine four, right? Yeah. Four so, before Spreacher? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, that I, was the. I, um, I have a. I should have brought my notepad. I have a notepad that I keep them on. It was the first review we watched, I think. Yeah. Let me see. It was. Um, let me get my thing up. Matt, can you explain the difference between a sarsaparilla and root beer? Yes. It's it's so sarsaparilla and root beer. So sarsaparilla is a little bit more tangy. It's um, a different God. root. It's a different root. Um, and they're using so they used to use sassafras in um, sassafras. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, they go up, yeah, but um, in root beer. But then there was a carcinogen, so they've changed it. So it's a lot of like now they use a lot of flavor extracts. But um, sarsaparilla has um, a different. I forget what root it is, but it's basically the difference in the root that's used to drive. They're very similar, but sarsaparilla has more of a bite. I think I'm eventually gonna like. I'm not gonna just focus on root beer at some point. This is just my starting off point. Yeah. And we're gonna go other places. Different, different sodas, you different and, foods. You and Tyler both have always had a pretty strong passion for food. and Thank you. Unique, thank you to Honey. Unique. Uh, you guys always, the way you describe food, I'm glad you guys are starting to do this kind of stuff. Yeah. Cause I'm, you know, I, I, I yeah, you. You um, guys have always, whenever you like pick out flavors and like talk about mouthfeel and stuff, it's just, it's, it's, it's inspiring. Let's see. Oh, I gave Dogs and Suds was really one of the Dogs and Suds. Dogs and Suds. Dogs, dogs, and, suds. dogs, dogs and, suds and Suds is phenomenal. It was a 9.4. And this is, this and is similar. I think it was 9.6, I think. See, I'm maybe gonna, it was 9.4. No, it was 9.4 so, Dogs and Suds. I love Hanks. I like, I like how creamy it is. The Sprecher is good. Mm. But I think this is just a notch better for me. Really? Yeah, I mean... What are, you, what are we going to get? What, so, like, I want to see... I mean, I, I mean I, I've mean, i been pretty quiet, but this is by far the best Ruby I've ever had in my life. I, I, that's, that's, so, like, that's I mean, pretty much what I think, too. I've had, and I've had this one before, so I'm going, like, because I, I think there's always room to grow. I'm going 9-7 for Hanks, and I... I <laughs> what's someone said? John says, this is like a Mormon drink review. Horrible. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah you it's like what? a drink review. Oh, you know well, what I, I just found out? What? You know what I just found out is that Barks has caffeine in it. My yeah. whole life I've been drinking Barks, thinking I was get, drinking clean, drinking clean, unadulterated root beer. And, and Barks has always been one of my favorites behind, yeah. behind like Virgil's, behind like, you know, yeah, Virgil's a, a, a good bunch of those. Yeah. And, 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 and Barks... Now I'm working. now I'm learning it has fucking caffeine. caffeine. It's not good for you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I did a good one for dads. Dads was really good. I gave that an, um I think that gave dads, it an So him. somebody was talking about dads and I was like, I don't think he's done it. And then that was your dad. That was my first one. I guess my friend from Tyler O'Hearn, shout out to him. And shout out to Lindy, uh, my fiance, for you know, 
staying away from the door and not listening because I always get a little bit nervous when I'm doing them. But actually, it's become more and more easy, easier every single time because I'm just getting more. The first time I felt like we I was can a tell robot. you're getting more comfortable. Yeah, and it's 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 you're starting it's to have fun. fun with it. I'm having fun, and like that's what Cheers. it's about. Cheers. Cheers. That's what it's about. Yeah. Baby. So I'm Thanks going for bringing these over. Yeah, no, it's Hanks. Go get yourself one. It's also super. The, the shipping's free. And it's super so super cheap good. online. Nine seven. You're going nine seven. I, I'm. I mean, I'm I'm up there. I mean, I, I'll probably give this like a nine five. Yeah, I like that. Just because it's really it is the best root beer I've ever had. I'm convinced there's like way better than this too. I, like at yeah. this point, after watching Matthew's reviews, my whole perspective of root beer, which was literally Barks Mug and A and W, and Virgils, has. Literally changed so much that yep. I can't even fathom what the range is. For sure. That like I there this could be like mid grade as far as I know. I don't yeah. fucking know. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and it also seems like the the the, the service isn't even scratched in terms of like potential, like the, the future reviews that aren't even out yet. Yeah. I agree. Which maybe you know. And maybe we got. I got to make one. You know. That's what I'm. I think I'm gonna. Get oh, a IBC. IBC was. Good. IBC is good. I'm gonna do that eventually. Um, I'm gonna do like some mid grade ones. Like there's one I saw just like like Shaw's brand, whatever, just to try to get some different stuff out there. Yep. Um, but yeah, that's the kind of the reason I did root beer because I love sodas. Like I love a good um, like Mexican Coke uh, with real sugar. And the thing about root beer is it's all cane sugar, so there's not much. Um, so sorry. No, there's, you're good. There's not much. Nobody cares, um, Nobody cares about me. Yeah, no, there's <laughs> not much. Um, like uh, uh, high fructose corn syrup. Yep. All of them are really cane sugar, which is I, I'm about because like. I'm not even like like oh what what the flavor, but it's just like when something has high fructose corn syrup, it, it kind of screws around with the like the the mouth feel and like okay. it feels a little more viscous. And I like that root beer. There's also like so many ranges of flavors that you can put in a root beer, and root beer is kind of just like this overarching term. And there's like you said, so much you can do with it. And also there's so many breweries that you know with the a, a kind of a trending people towards not drinking as much alcohol that there's. Um, they're trying to find something to like appease everybody yep. and i found that like a lot of places are doing non-alcoholic beers but like that's fine but like a root beer yeah can get, get get by and you know i would rather drink like a, like a root beer if it's not like overly sweet and like sugar like this yeah. like again this root beer is so drinkable and i feel like i could have two or three of them and not feel like shit yeah and also the you know the carbonate. It's the mouthfeel. It just like feels good. Like yeah. this is just I, again good, clean, fun. And I said that like right from the beginning. And you, I can drink. I drink things fast. I eat things fast. So like in a little, I didn't savor it as much. But like yeah. I don't. I, I don't like. And I have. You know, I'm a burpy guy, and it's it. I, it doesn't really make, give you the burps too, because there is carbonation in there, but it's not like overly like a seltzer where you just like feel like yeah. I don't know. I love it. Um, all my friends from Philly, when I told them about Hanks, are like, yeah, that's what's what's up. Um, it's huge in Philly, um, but yeah, like I said, there's so many different root beers out there. Super and they, curious. <laughs> and there's there's so many, re- like there's regional root beers. So it's ones that you can't get around here. There's ones out the West Coast. Right. Midwest has a really strong root beer. Root beer, just I don't know what you call it. Well, I was well, when we were watching your some of your reviews earlier. You keep saying like you're like. I forget it was like Louisiana or like these places. I was yeah. just like, man, a lot of Midwest places are yeah. are, are pumping out these Indi- root beers. Indiana, and then Wisconsin, you had Sar- Saranac, which was New York, Utica, Utica New York, yeah, which was and really I was like, good. Okay, fine. Like, we're making it towards the East Coast, and like, you know, I mean, obviously, I liked that you were wearing Boston gear for a New Yorker review, which was nice. I was thinking um, maybe like I could make a BRB, yeah, Bartley's root beer, so good, you'll be right back. You know, I don't know. I mean, I mean, come on. I mean, that, that's like, you I, know, mean, I, think, I think that's it, dude. BRB, Bartley Root Beer. Also, cool thing. That Sent it to the presses. Guys, you heard it here first. You yeah. heard it here first. So, I, I kind of did this unknowns, but like my great great or great grandfather uh, was in Amesbury, Massachusetts, and he had this place called Bartley Corner yeah. where he had the first soda soda found in Amesbury at that time. So my dad actually at his house, I'm gonna I'm gonna borrow it, I'm gonna take a picture of it, I'm, I'm going to my dad's okay. Halloween. Okay. Um, and he has a hires root beer, which is almost impossible to find these days, okay. but it's the original pump that's like, it's beautiful, like enamel, it says Hi, uh, hires drink, like drink the best or something like that, from like the early 1900s, like I, you know, it was I, meant to be. Yeah, so it's kind of what? like it's kind of like the rebirth of Bartley's Corner. I would love to, you know, make a root beer. Dude, Bartley's Corner, back. Re- bring back Bartley's yeah. Corner. BRB on draft. Yeah, BRB Are you on kidding draft. Me? You know, and and I, I'm also so there's a place like I'm gonna try to go to a place to do, to, to do some um, 
some places in places, but I'm a little bit shy, like with my camera out in places and talking when I'm at a restaurant. Yeah, we can change that. Yeah, we can change that. Though. I mean, just yeah. Just bring me. I'll be shameless. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, so there's like a place Wild Willies in uh, Watertown. Wild, Wild Willies. Yeah. And they give you they give you a huge mug and they they frost it for you and they have Dude, root they, beer on tap. So I'm gonna try that. You know, I actually do think I remember that. It's been so long since yeah. I've been to Wild Willies. Yeah, I, I, the burgers are pretty good too. Yeah, burgers are good. Definitely. Oh, that was delicious. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank me. Thank I mean, you. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, this has been awesome. Of course. Yeah. You know, I mean, we wanted to. Uh, no, Watertown, Massachusetts, penis. Um, there is one up in Maine, too. I think uh, uh, there's, there's, there is a um, Wild Willies. There, there, like, there was kind of a small, small change, but I think they're really. The main one is in Watertown. Big root beer can't stand this education of the indie root beer landscape. You know, it's always been funny, right? Because, like, I started seeing, like, some memes about root beer recently where it's like, Root beer companies don't even advertise. They like they're yeah. just like, yeah, we're just chilling, like we're competing with each other, but you know we don't. Things are fine, you yeah. know. No need to go Coke and Pepsi, even though they are owned by like you know Barks is owned by Coke and whatever. It doesn't. They don't advertise those specific segments. Yeah. And here we are learning Doing so it. much about like so many other root beers. Like we could see, we could see. I mean, Matthew could be a big catalyst in this industry right I now. Who knows? It. I love Who that. knows? That'd be good. He could shake things up. I could. Shake we could it up, see but not too much because then you fuck with the carbonation. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah no, but... Well, that's, that's why we got... That's why we're yeah. going tight caps. You know, the Virgil's Pop Top? Yeah. You know, like the all oh, oil the Pop barbarian top. ones? Yeah, the, I got to get those. Those are hard to find because uh, that's like a, a single release, but that's yeah. one that I'm going to be yeah. trying to get. They have some pretty expensive ones out there too, like yeah. the limited edition ones. Yeah, so like the Bavarian Nutmeg one. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, if I can spend money on Funko Pops and things, I can spend money on an expensive root beer. Does he have a Twitch we could follow? Do you have a Twitch account? Um, I was big. Was a big. Pop, I had one, but I haven't been on in a while. But now I'm going to be back on. Yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll get him. We'll get him. You know. We'll, I, but yeah, if you want to follow he has, me, he has. I I posted his um. I posted his uh. What's it called? His YouTube channel. It's YouTube is where he's post posted the reviews. That's the channel that you can follow Matthew yeah, on. Yeah, follow me if you'd like. Cause and you know we're starting with root beer. I, I mean, I, I root beer is definitely near and dear to my heart. Um. And I think it's going to be, you know, there's going to be other reviews, but right now I'm having fun with the root beer. And, um, yeah, come come see where we'll end up. I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and root beer kind of was like the first real soft drink around. But like what a, does he rate Culver's? Have you had Culver's root beer? That's one I got to get. So Culver's, I, I, I got Culver's. I heard Culver's is really good. Hmm. Um, I, I haven't been able to find that one. I did Stewart's, which I know is kind of similar to Culver's, which is really great. But I've heard that Culver's is, is, is phenomenal. I've done the, the the first like I've done Sprecher, which is like up there on the list. It's yep. really good. I'm gonna do the Maple Sprecher. It's supposed to be really good. I will admit. But, I will admit. Kudos to Sprecher for how good that root beer looked in their mug. Oh right. It that, was like just damn like you know like yeah. that mug with their root beer. It just looks yeah good. And they, they make their root beer 16 ounces, so it fits perfectly in the mug. Yeah, no, too. I mean it was they a make perfect their, pour. In, in the bottom has it has like there it's like not a flat bottom. It has like like bubbles on it so it, yep. it doesn't it's it's just great yep they're, they're a great great company and i mean the another fun thing about root beer is the labels like hanks is pretty low-key but like dogs and suds spreadshirt they have really fun labels which is like something that you don't see as much in other um soft drinks or sodas right so yeah or tonic as you call it here in boston tonic tonic kid well, awesome. tonic tonic and soda is different right so like it depends. It's like kind of like a water bubbler and thing. But like my dad and like I think old school Boston people like my my nana and my papa like because like, like, doesn't tonic have sugar in it? So it tonic water, but like they okay. but like some like it's I think it became like a blanket term for like sodas in I Boston. See. Like if you look if you talk to like like um, I heard this new term for um, a sub called it like a spre a sprecky or something like that and like a I forget what it is a spe, a spe, a spe, I forget what it is I heard it but um yeah look it up and I had never heard. A, a spucky, spucky, it's spucky, spucky. A spucky, and it's like that. Like, like I had never heard this, and it's like I saw, I saw spucky? a a spucky, and I heard a, it was like a Boston the, based. S the spucky sandwich is a common term used in Boston for yeah. what they call their version of the Italian sandwich. I never heard this before, never and, in I, and my life. like it's kind of like tonic and spucky should go hand in hand. But like they did this whole thing, it's like why people from Boston call subs Spuckies? And I was reading it, I was like, Be but we don't. I've never heard, I've never, never heard, heard that. I've heard subs, like I hear everyone call it a sub. Some people call it a hoagie, but then I think that they're probably from out of town, but a Spucky. And then I was watching- a Grinder, I've heard grinders. Grinders, yeah, yeah. Hoagies and grinders, navy beans, navy beans. Meatloaf sandwich. <laughs> sloppy Joe, slop, sloppy Joe, yeah. Let's see what we got here. 
Oh my god. Ooh, it's vanilla and mint. The is that the one? Dorbles, what about harpoon root beer? Did you ever I, have it? I've had it before, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna get that one again. It's good. And that's another cool thing is a lot of breweries also brew root beer because I mean it's they're, they're similar brewing processes. Um, so I'm 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 excited to go to breweries and try to find if they have root beer. Mm. I have to do I still have to do I, I, I mug is one of the big ones. I still have to do A and W. I really wanna go find an A and W. You remember because you you went to school up in Vermont. Do you remember on Route Seven they had the A and W hot dog stand? On way down, almost like, almost towards what was that really smart school? Uh, I forget. Anyways, but I don't know. If I there, know but that. yeah, you keep on going down Route Seven real far, and they had a hot dog A and W stand where they had roller skates and they'd roll up to you and like. See, I would have gone there. I went I've there. Yeah, I went there because I used to drive for Avis and Budget, and like I would, I would go far down there and then pull over, and th- it was phenomenal. You got like a root beer and two hot dogs, and it was like short money, and it was so much fun. Almost as good as Al's French fries, but a little bit less hard on the stomach. Al, Al's, yeah. yeah. Al's, Al's. Al's. <laughs> you know, you knew yeah. you, you knew it when you had Al's. Yeah, you did. Definitely. Awesome. Any other questions? My biggest Call, a pop. Thing? Yeah, a pop. Yeah. Northerners calling it a pop. I thought that was a southern thing. So no, Bree, Bree says pop in Michigan. A&W and Culver's. All right, so I, I, I would love to try Culver's. I, A&W is phenomenal. And, like, I, my, I grew up, my, so my Nana was a diabetic, so she always had, always had IBC root beer because she had, like, had less sugar. I think she had the sugar-free one, but we also had, like, the regular, and that was one of my favorites, and A&W. You're asking for your beard routine. Um, well, I haven't, so I trimmed a little bit today, and I kind of screwed it up just a little bit, but it's fine. It, it, you can't tell. Everyone thinks it looks amazing. So what I do is I don't touch it. Um, I also have the ability to grow, a, like, this is, this beard is only from August, I think. Like, I shaved it for, right before uh, the, the Fred Wright tournament. You did? Yeah, I had, I was pretty clean shaven for the Fred Wright tournament. That's from August. Yeah, this is from August. Yeah, so you had no facial hair. Yeah, no, I had no facial hair. So this is from August. So it goes really beard. So I have, I have, I have. <laughs> to get shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so this is from August. I'm going to grow it out. So also one of what I, I was reading in, in uh, Guys, guys, the Fred Wright tournament, to put that in perspective, is my birthday weekend of August 13th. So it is two months tops. Yeah. I'm glad that you guys, so what I do is I, um, I trim over the beard and then every morning I, I have, I, um, are you okay standing or would you yeah, rather sit? I'm, sure, no, I'm fine standing. Okay, okay. Um, it's, it's, it's tight here, Bree. This, yeah. this room is really small. This room is really small. Oh, thank you. Um, I, I, um, I, I use beard oil. It's, uh, it's, uh, beard, uh, Sha- like death before shave, I think it's called. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, and and I just use beard oil. I put it in my hands and rub it, and then I I I, I, I have a beard comb. I comb it down, and then really just take take it and just form it down because your beard it's pretty coarse, so you can make it do whatever you want. And then I'm trying, so like I'm gonna be Obi Wan Kenobi for uh, Halloween. So I'm gonna wow. so they got Obi Wan Kenobi, and I got my hair yeah, a little yeah. bit longer. Um, but really just kind of let it do its thing, and then like trim in. I get really poofs here, so I try to trim it a little bit here. And then trim underneath the, the the neck every week, but really just kind of let it go. It's funny because I, I work online and, and uh, the, my face is always like when I'm like shooting myself, and it's just like the beard takes up a majority of because I'm super close. So yeah, so yeah, I just put put beard oil in it every day, and um, that's more mo- that's even not for the, the the hair, but just I have a dry skin, so like it gets to a point like really with beards is it's gonna suck for a little bit. It's gonna be itchy, and then when like. The seasons change too. It gets dry, so you just got to be understanding that you're gonna have some beard drift for a little bit, things like that, and then you just work that beard oil in, and then it becomes moist. And I hate that word, but that's kind of what happens. Yeah. And, then, and you just, it just kind of, it, it's oily anyway, so you just kind of use that. And then if you want to shape it, you just kind of like, I just pull, pull like this all day, and not all day, but you just kind of use your fingers to, to. So it's looking now, yeah. And I just, I'm lucky that like I have two different <laughs> co- colors. And also later in life, I'm, I'm hopefully gonna retire to be a. A real beard Santa, because they make they make bank. I heard. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, like look at a how, beard Santa. Look, you can look at how much like a weird beard Santa makes, like a white one, because it's turning white. So once yeah. it turns white, you can make like some some decent money during Christmas, because like you get paid a lot extra, because they want someone who like looks and feels like Santa, because you know <laughs> you're, you're talking to the big man at, in the North Pole, so you need to you know look the part. So yeah, so that's something that's like hopefully you know not now, but like when I'm older, like hey. I already work with children, so I have that. that I work at ten out of ten would sit in that Santa's lap. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, awesome. Meanwhile, Santa's just giggling while he's oblivious. Uh, <laughs> it's so funny. 
Sammy is, I mean, Sammy, uh, your mustache game game is strong. I, I've done, so like Tyler and Sammy, I've done like a really <laughs> have hardcore handlebar where I can flare it out and stuff. But working with children and having that type of mustache is not the best. <laughs> so when you guys said that, is, is, when you guys said, is it Dwayne The Rock Johnson? And I said, kind of close. It's funny because Matthew it. actually wanted to join the WWE. Is that not true? Listen here, brother. <laughs> Next night, tomorrow night at SummerSlam, just going to be me and you and the mat and only one of us is getting out and it ain't gonna be you <laughs> there we go so you know that I, I thought that was a pretty good guess <laughs> Matt, Matt don't look into the camera like that without warning me I felt like <laughs> that's not very Santa ho 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 <laughs> no I uh, no. I've always wanted to be. <laughs> no, I love, yeah, it's, yeah. I, I don't know, maybe I could have like the, the, the Santa gift, but it, like I could be like Santa and everyone's on the naughty list. I could be like the heel, like, like, like oh, you can, no. I don't know, that's terrible, but yeah. I love, I love WWE wrestling, um, you know. I think it's fun. Uh, you know, Sammy, Tyler, Nicole, Lindy, and all of us, I forget who else was there. Um, we went to, we went to WWE. That was we awesome. Saw John Cena's return there yeah. in Boston. That was awesome. That and was... Kofi Kingston, who's also from Boston, uh, he, he wrestled as well. I think I brought... I think I was... I brought like, Shelby for like my second yeah, date. Yeah, Anna was there too. Anna came. I think Anna came. Oh, Anna came. Yeah. Um, it was fun. I, I'm always fun. Like, I love... Like, if you... Like, I'm... <laughs> wrestling now is fine. But like, I grew up... I'm, I'm 34. Five, Matthew so. is Matthew is engaged. I'm engaged. Arden, 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 Arden. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Lindy, I love Lindy. She's out there. Uh, she's the best. No, this is Matthew's stream now. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, um, but I appreciate the comments. You know, I'm always you know boost up my ego. But Lindy will like that too. Um, <laughs> you know, she's like you're mine. But anyways, uh, yeah, I loved. I grew up in like the heyday of WWE. I mean, the '80s and '90s. I like the early '90s and like, I don't know, like having Mankind, Cactus Jack. Dude, love those three guys. I was a huge Stone Cold Steve Austin fan. The, the Undertaker. I mean, it was just like you had anyway. The Rock was was kind of getting started out of the Rock. Um, I mean, there was just so many good, you know, the Degeneration X, and then that was when WCW and WFDF were kind of going back and forth with the NWO with like Hulk Hogan, uh, Scott Hall. Um, I can't. Uh, who the guy? I forget his name. I I just blanked. But the guy who was Razor Ramon. Uh, uh, let me see. What's his name? I, was, I was a big Undertaker guy. Undertaker's the best. I mean, I Undertaker. Love, I loved Undertaker. And then, and then when um, uh, Scott, Scott, it was Scott Hall. Yeah, I think that that who was. Uh, that's why I couldn't remember his name because I already said his name. Yeah, the Undertaker is great. I mean, the way that I love when they would shut the lights off and then you hear the the toll and then he'd be in the like he'd just come up from underneath and right. he'd be on the toll and then that's when like Kane. You remember his brother Kane yep. came out like Kane's kind of whatever now because they took his mask off. But for a while, the story of like. <laughs> the Undertaker not saving his brother from a house fire and thinking he was dead and then they're like they kind of like fed it in for a few weeks that he was alive and that he was going to come and then he like just showed up and the Undertaker like was just it was insane and he didn't talk and the first time he talked it was so corny but he used one of those voice boxes and, uh, I remember that that was it was awesome and like they stuck to the gimmick and now it's like more family friendly I think they can't get away with as much which is yeah, fine yeah. but it's just it's I, I tune in, but I tune into the big events, and like yeah. I'll watch, and I still love it. Yeah. Lindy's not a big fan. She's like, well, "What do you?" I mean, I, you know, it's yeah, hard. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's part of it's like you know, it's kind of what you grew up it's on. It's nostalgia. Like, you, you know, get, I mean? you get that yeah. backstory. Yeah. It's hard to come in on it yeah. now. And I, I remember one time. The, the, Good morning, grunge. I uh, I bought. Uh, this is when you could get like um, when you got uh, the pay per views, and you had to buy it on your like the only way you could do it is buy it on your TV, like yeah. you know, like that. Yeah, yeah. And I bought it up in my parents' room because I was hiding away from them because I knew they wouldn't want me to buy it. Yeah. But it only went onto one box. It didn't go to all, all your boxes. Oh, no. So it was a Sunday night. It was WrestleMania. Yeah. And my, I was downstairs like on my TV and like it's WrestleMania. It's like seven o'clock. Where where it's gonna go on? It went off in my parents' room and my dad's like. What the hell? And he's like, Matthew! And I was like, I didn't do it. He's like, who did it? And then, like, I mean, you're the only one who watches WWE. And I was like, can I watch it? They're like, absolutely not. So, like, I, I, I tried to buy it. And I, I don't know what I had to do because it was, like, like fourth or fifth grade. So, yeah. I mean, you can't pay for 50 bucks. So, right. there was so much money. And I felt like yeah, he, put you, he put you to work. I mean, I, I think. Mean, he put you to work now. I mean, yeah, I think, I think my dad, Tyler, Tyler, Tyler will appreciate, like, one of the, I mean, I love, my dad's the best. He loves us. But, I mean, he definitely had us for the free manual labor. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> 
Um, a grunge pumpkin. I am Ongo Gablogian, uh, a Danny DeVito alter ego in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. This is Matthew, uh, my best friend Tyler's older brother. We just did a, uh, a root beer review, uh, which is just, you know, this was a little special segment during our 24-hour charity stream. I love this. Um, you got my sticker here, too. I have, yep. Matthew gave me this sticker right here. The circus is a place for me. I also love Fish a lot, the band Fish. and You guys can't see that one, but yeah. it's a little circus sticker. Yeah, I love it. Because the circus is the place for Sam because he's, he's I mean, the look, best. Look at me. He's the best. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Awesome. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, do you guys have any more questions for Matthew other than, uh, you know, whether or not he's single? For some reason, Rikishi was my favorite for a while. I met him and now Rikishi's I have his autograph cool. on my wall. Yeah, Rikishi was great. What's I, up, I was... Niku? I like fish, too. Um, no, you like fish fish. He likes fish fish. I, I love but fish, too. Fish I fish. Love Wait, got, show off that yeah, the I got, scuba diver. I got the scuba diver here, which is actually a Grateful Dead. Skeleton scuba diver. Uh, Grateful Dead uh, backstage pass. And then, let me just go this way. Wasn't Shannon talking shit one. about that band like two days? What What band? And then I got my scuba diver. I got other ones. They're going on my back, and I got I got George Costanza. Matt, Matthew has one of my favorite tattoos of all time. It is George Costanza on the on the oh, couch? Oh, oh, on his upper thigh. Okay. On his upper we thigh. We can't show that because this is a, this is a family. Yeah, and these are wearing long pants. Yeah, so. if I, if I, maybe if you I, can wear shorts one day. Yeah, definitely. Will you do a root beer float edition review? Yeah, I would. I mean, this is the closest thing to it. This like literally tastes like a root beer float, but like yeah, you know, root beer float so, light. I like his beard, says Grunge. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate it. I've been working hard on it. And I've, like, there's some days, and this is the first time I've, like, looked at it. So while, after a while... Oh, I get... we do have a question. Sure. Do you like jelly beans? I do like jelly beans. I like certain flavors. I like, I like... Um... So, okay, well, we're, let's, let's not get... Okay, what flavors do you like? I like um, fruit punch. Okay. I like uh, tutti frutti. Yeah. And I like the root beer ones. Okay. Why? Are we going to uh, do a bean boozle? Well, I have to do a bean boozle, and I was going to see if you would do, um, you know, a bean boozle with us. I'll do it. Whatever it is. Uh, there is a Tutti Fruity Stinky Sock one. I mean, I'll do whichever, whatever, what, what, I, I'm, I'm down with whatever. I, I'll, yeah, I'm good. I have a pretty strong stomach. Just do it. I mean, we can do whichever we so can. I picked, so I picked peach or barf out of the tent. Okay. I want to know the bean boozle mouthfeel. Guys, Matthew's a legend. Of course, he's gonna do it. Oh, that was my my my, my name was um, Larry Legend. That was my name on La on Twitch. Uh, yeah. Um, all right. So uh, don't look. Close your eyes and uh, you know just pick one at random. Oh, you got two D fruity or stinky socks. Yeah. Amazing. All right, we'll do this together. I mean, stinky socks is honestly so palatable. Barf is absolutely not. Yeah. <clears throat> but look, luckily, luckily. If I get. Um. I, I think vibe. Matthew's gonna bring some good vibes. I'm gonna get peach, peach, peach bean here, um, and uh, Matthew's gonna get tutti frutti. It's gonna be pretty special. Cheers! Yeah, thanks cheers. for doing this, man. Yeah, I know. Tutti frutti. It's tutti frutti. Nope. <laughs> I got tutti frutti. Nope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you didn't get tutti. What's a peach? Was it? No. Ain't that a peach? <laughs> or not? <laughs> He's gonna make it. I should have done this before the ruby. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> He's got a loaded stomach. <laughs> oh. That was definitely. Okay, I actually, honestly, I wasn't that. That one wasn't so potent. <laughs> so potent compared to some of the others. I mean, I'm pretty excited I got Tutti Fruity. Like, yeah, I'm thinking I'm, about going to Bob's at some point, and I don't know if I could do it if I ate. Yeah. You should hit Bob's yeah, on the way I, home. Yeah, I got work at four, so. Is T, is T still here, or is he working? I know he's working hard. Oh, my God. Matthew, is there two bean jars there? There is. Yeah. Maybe one labeled one good. Oh, no. No, there's the, uh... There's the bean boozle. The regular bean boozle. And then we have the spicy spicy bean boozle. So there are two bean jars, Bree. But nice try. Oh, and also, the, uh, the, about, talking about the, um... The... <laughs> I'll talk so you can recover a little bit. There's a guy, uh, the reason I got the kind of inspired by doing, good. I'm good, that, yeah. they actually taste great. Yeah. Uh, there's an older guy, I forget his name, but he does, nice. he does, <laughs> he does like ice cream milkshakes and stuff like that on YouTube. Uh, it's, it's, it's like heartwarming content. Let's see if I can find his name. Uh, he does like, um, let's see. What do you know about chocolate milk? Oh, a lot, but I have like, so my, my stomach is slowly but surely becoming more and more sensitive to lac yeah. lactose. Yeah. So if I drink chocolate milk, 
it does this weird thing with my like it doesn't even hurt my it hurts my stomach but it does this weird thing with my throat where I feel like I have something stuck in the back of it and it gets super annoying. Him and Tyler both know quite a bit about chocolate. Yeah, milk. that's 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 funny you say that. Uh, let's see, what's this guy's name? It's giving white hair to Edna mode. No, this is Ongo Gablogian from It's Always Sunny. Oh. Not to be confused with Edna. The white elephant, this old guy, and he does all like he does. I've floats. seen this. Yeah, guy. I sent them to you. He, it's 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 it's. Oh, you sent me. Yeah, him. he does a fr Friday float. So if you're into like floats and stuff, the white elephant every Friday, and then milkshake Mondays, and then I forget what he does, and then the Sunday Sundays, and he's this old dude. He's from Canada. You can tell because he's super friendly. He's like an ex vet who's a survivalist, but like you can tell how nice he is. He probably has like you know, like, behind him, like, craziness. But he, he has an old-school blender, and he just has, like, a really good, like, way he looks at the camera. It's, like, it's fun to watch him. And I watched him, and I was like, why shouldn't I do something? That's fun. So he does a great job. Oh, so, like, you. so shout-out to the White Elephant uh, for inspiring me to do reviews because he, he doesn't, like, do a rating scale. I always, like, you know, I'm a big one-bite guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, I watch all those reviews because I love pizza. Yeah. But he his... Like, I was like, oh, root beer floats, but then I was like, root beer. Like, that's no one. And there are people who are doing it, but, like, not on a weekly basis. Hey, so. there's, you know, there's plenty of space. For there's plenty of space. You just got to, you just got to dig out your spot. Does he say, oh, oh you betcha? Oh, you betcha. He's like, mmm. He's always a, mmm. That's You said good. floats, and I thought parade. Wow. The White Elephant is a famous saloon here. In, it's, uh, he spells white elephant with a Y instead of the I in white. Um, we'll add that to the list of links that Matthew will provide us. Yeah. We've got the... Uh, the, the tie-dye guy, yep. we've got the, the knockoff t-shirt guy, and we've got the white elephant now. I got a lot. I mean, we're gonna learn, we're learning a lot. For a Matthew guy who's not on social media. <laughs> <laughs> it's I, it's I, I, incredible. Yeah. I've, I've, so I've like migrated to YouTube, so eventually I'll get on, I think we're yeah. gonna do TikTok or something like that, yeah. maybe an Instagram, because yep. I'm a little bit better with my money these days, so yep. yeah. It's also just, uh, you know, I like I like my privacy. But oh, like and it. the beard oil, yeah. Beard oil? Oh yeah, death before shave. Death before shave. Yeah, it's and it's pretty cool. Every single one has a different, uh, like a different. Uh, the, the graphics kind of got me, and they had good reviews. But they have every single type of beard oil has a pretty cool one. I have a pine one because I like the pine scent, and it's like a guy with a pine cone for a beard. I know. <laughs> Make Matthew his LinkedIn and put it in your bio. Wait, what do you mean, Bree? What does that even mean? Tyler knows a lot about chocolate milk. I was just wondering if that's hereditary. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, like, yeah. So, what it is is, like, my honey. I mean, like, we, like, when we grew up, like, the drink of choice, like, we would always, like, I, us kids, I think, did you have milk a lot when you were a kid? I drank so much milk. So much milk. Because, like, so we're told milk. to, and, like, it's actually I love not milk. That, I love milk, too. Yeah. It's it's great. But, like, chocolate milk was what we had. I have, like, pasta, chocolate milk. It's, like, what we always had. I would get it at restaurants and stuff. My family thought it was a, a healthier alternative to soda, which it is. Um, Sometimes, if none of you drink a whole gallon of it, but like right. I love chocolate milk. I love like Shaw's Farm. We get it at Wilson's in Lexington, and yeah. like it's it's great. Hello, Colorado. Yeah, I love chocolate milk, and I can have a few sips. I love it. I, I like did the raw milk for a little bit, and that really <laughs> screwed up my stomach too. But have you ever been to the pub in Somerville? No, they have wings. They're good. Yeah, Robbie's there now. He's gonna bring me back some wings, and I'm trying to figure out what to get. I figured you might know some wings. Oh yeah, I'm, I also love making food, and I and I'm really good at finding rush. Like that's one thing I do is restaurants. If you like, we need to go on a date somewhere, and you live somewhere. I'm good at like researching restaurants. Um, but in the Boston area, I have like a rolodex of places in my head. <laughs> so just just ask away if you want, and other places too. You know those great wings is Buff's Pub. Uh, Buff's Pub is they the take, best. They take cards now, too, which is... Oh, good, because yeah. that was cash only. That was always tough. Yeah. M Matthew, please do that for a video. I need that list. Buff's yeah. Pub, baby, yes. Yeah, I, I would love to do a list. So, so Murph is from Scranton. Okay. And, you know, that's a big, that's a big wing place. He's, yeah, he's, Scranton, He's yeah. kind of been shitting on, on Boston wings. Okay. Scranton, PA? Yeah. So, um... I went through Scranton. Um, uh, Lindy's from uh, Pennsylvania. Her family lives in Pennsylvania. A lot of people at State College. So we were driving from her mom, who lives up in up. Uh, where is it? Uh, she lives on the Delaware River, in like um, uh, like Honesdale, PA. And we drove down to from Honesdale down to State College, and we stopped at. Jim Thorpe, PA. Murph, you ever been to Jim Thorpe? What a, what a, like, what a head trip. Not, not even great wings, but just, it's a crazy little town. I think it's south of, of Scranton. Um, 
but it's like Jim Thorpe. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like it's it's weird because it's a small town, but Jim Thorpe, like the famous um, Olympian football player, okay. and they kept the downtown to look exactly like it was when he was there. Okay. So like not much once you go outside. Like it's a really small, like working class town, but the downtown is beautiful, especially in fall mm. and um, in the winter. It's great. Nice, definitely. Foamy, thank you for the biddies, baby. Tyler, anybody uh, uh, Java Junkie, thank you for the follow. Foamy, thank you for the hundred bits. Tyler, thank you for the thousand bits earlier. Sorry, uh, and the 600 bits just now for me. I appreciate you, dude. Um, yeah, we need, uh, you know, so it's funny because I've been trying to get Tyler. I was going to make Tyler an Instagram account called Tasty Treats with Tyler. Yeah. I was going to get, try to. I've been trying to get him to do food reviews for so freaking long. And now he's like, well, I can't do it now because Matthew's doing you it. You can do like, it. And I'm like, dude, like, this is perfect. We you can, can do it. You can team up. You can do your own thing and collab and have your team up. And it, honestly, the Paul brothers, they, they took on everything. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, this is Tyler. He's classic Tyler. You know, he's, we'll you know, get him, you know, he's shirking away, but I think this is a good opportunity. It. We can get them talking about food. Guys, we're going to... Tyler does have a really good, like, when, when he eats something, you know when he loves it. He, it's like his, yeah. his reactions are phenomenal. When he, he's you know. so pure. Yeah, it's the great. way he talks about and food. And the laugh at the end, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, the laugh. Yeah, That's yeah, when exactly. you know you got something good. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, like yeah. He does the whole... Yeah. I know. Um, so we're definitely... Just Matthew's reviews are so good. I just watched nine reviews. Yep. Thank you. Um, give, give me a follow, too, because, you know, yep. I'm not looking for... It's just more fun for me, so it's just fun that I have more of an audience and um, to do it to. And I'm not looking, you know... What's Tyler's favorite food? Gravy. Gravy? Yeah. Uh, and then turkey, bu butter turkey. is number two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> he does love turkey. A Thanksgiving turkey. Dinner. Mac and cheese is up there, too. Yeah, he likes yeah. mac and cheese. Turkey, so he's going to, to give our aunt a ride to the the, uh, the Cape. She's, I mean, to the... Um, to the airport and she's down the cape and she's like ah, i'm gonna bring tyler to to this place and we're gonna get him a full turkey dinner so tyler look forward tomorrow night sunday night you're getting a thanksgiving turkey dinner at uh i forget the name marshlands <laughs> gravy number one is the funniest thing i've ever heard i sometimes laugh alone at that yeah, yeah i know it's it's literally biscuits and gravy like sausage gravy he loves that type of stuff <laughs> because i think it may be mine too it's yeah yeah <laughs> Is yeah. it? A, but like, is gravy a food or is it a condiment? That's a really, I mean, that's that's, know, a, that's like it's a hot dog and a go, sandwich. And then he goes, yeah, butter number two, and I'm like, okay, that's also not <laughs> food. That's a like, <laughs> that's like a condiment as well. I mean, yeah. what is butter? It's like, French people love butter. They just eat straight butter. Like I didn't know this, but I was watching like a. I don't have cable, so I yeah. have Fubo, and they have Taste Made Travel, which is a phenomenal thing. Yeah. You just look these like little small things, and they went somewhere in uh, France, and they have like whole stores that are just butter like and they, like they keep their butter it's like out oh, you can yeah, keep yeah. it and it's like beautiful I keep, I keep my butter in yeah, a dish it's, it's out, better that I way keep a, I keep one stick out for you know if you're doing toast you don't want to pull bread butter out uh, of the fridge you'll, just, to, to, to you'll in, destroy your you piece of bread you're just, it's just you're just gonna be like eat that and that's terrible Aiden used to do that I'm like dude like have you tried spreading soft butter it is Much literally better. life I mean I never did it differently growing up so like I thought everyone did it Yeah. and then I came to find out that like it was kind of like one of those things like yeah. Yeah, the, but like in, they, they put it into different like they have like they take the butter and then they have molds and they give it to you and like little like it's pretty cool. So. Yeah. Um, there's a guy on YouTube that just makes butter. What's his YouTube channel again? Jeez, you guys, you know, let me let me get it. Let me get it. Oh, Cul me Culinary Barts. Culinary Barts. But the link is if you look up Culinary Barts, you should find it. Um, but this is the link that go go smash that like subscribe button guys make sure you comment you know you know get get let's get that algorithm working for him i've commented on every video we have now made it a literal tradition the past two 24 hour streams thank you uh, the past two 24 hour streams we have watched all the reviews like we caught the first last 24 hour stream we did we watched every review that he had posted we commented on all of them it was a really great thing uh, the commentary was so much fun and then today we watched five more reviews and then we surprised i surprised you guys with him as a special segment to do a review together and um yeah, and hopefully, uh, yeah, who knows? You know, you guys might be on YouTube. This video might end up on YouTube here, and yeah. that chat could be there. Yeah, so, hey, we'll everyone, say hi, YouTube, and say good. Some, yeah. hit that subscribe we're button. Gonna, we're gonna have to rip it. I'm gonna have to get it because that would be that was a ten, the Hanks. Yeah, I was like, oh, we have ten. Today was ten, so today we, was number ten. We hit, we hit double digits right here. Double digits. Let's love go. That, love that. Love Congrats. That. Awesome. Oh yeah. Who the fuck is this guy and where is Sammy? My gosh, what's up, Mike? Awesome. Mike, this is my friend Matthew. Hello. Hi YouTube. I have anxiety. We all do. We all do. <laughs> oh, I have terrible anxiety. Yeah, I, had, I made some life changes to help my anxiety. That's good. Yeah. Anxiety is no joke, but it is funny too sometimes because we all. 
I think the thing is like everyone has it in different forms. So right. everyone like we're like I'm anxious. Like right. I only have one friend who's like I've never had anxiety in my life, and like he is like a walking uh, safety commercial. Like what you should do. I'm like maybe you could deal with a little bit more anxiety. <laughs> maybe, maybe anxiety would Shout be. Shout out to Rich. Uh, you know, <laughs> oh, Rich. Rich yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, like, I'm like maybe you could have a little bit more anxiety and make better life choices. Yeah. 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 Teach them. Awesome. Yeah, Sammy is that friend. I have anxiety too, you know. I, I mean, everyone. Yeah, Sammy. Sa Sammy, yeah, we all have it. It all comes out different ways. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's okay. Also, we hello, live in an hello, world. sleepy ghost. Good to see you. I saw you out there earlier. Sleepy ghost, I love that. Also, hello. One of my favorite songs by Fish is Ghost. Sleepy ghost. By Fish is Sleepy Ghost. No, Ghost. It's ghost. Called, uh, ghost. Yeah, it's a great song. I'll have to check it out. Definitely. So, awesome. Well, um, thank you for having this me. This was awesome. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll have to do it again, again. Yeah. of course. Dude. Thank you for coming by. Yeah. I love yeah. you too. Yeah. Thank you for uh, yeah. Sammy's the best. Bring, bring, bring in some, bring in some do, food. So what's, here. what's today's cost? There's a small echo. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's why I have, I never closed the stream. Maybe. Hold on. Has there been an echo the whole time? That's why I have, I never closed. No, hold on. Hold on. Ah, that's why. My bad, guys. Fuck. How long was it echoing? Ah, uh, you know, I don't know. Not too long. Hopefully. I love how short you are, Sammy. Well, oh, yeah, no, but if I stand further back, I look taller. Yeah, see? <laughs> like, I'm actually as tall as him. Yeah, Sammy's so, not short. I'm just, I'm a little bit tall. I'm six, six one. We're actually standing right next to each other right now. Yeah, exactly. I love the same. No, I think, I think the echo just occurred when I just posted that link again because yeah. I opened my stream oh, and I didn't mute yeah, it. Oh, that yeah, that's, yeah, good. Um, what's what's today? What's what, what, what are we fun? What's today going? To? Uh, so today, for anybody who is new coming in, or if, or if you are watching on YouTube, the reason I'm dressed up is because we're doing a 24-hour charity stream on Twitch, uh, my channel Spaceman Splash. We are raising money for the Vasculitis Foundation. I lost a good friend of mine to vasculitis in August. Yeah. Um, really yeah. rapidly out of yeah. nowhere, it was awful, and uh, that's why you see this donation bar down below. That's just how much money we've raised so far in the past 16 hours. That's awesome. Um, so we still That's have awesome another because. another eight hours to go. I've been changing costumes every three hours in Spirit of Halloween coming up. Um, and then every $250 that's been raised, we've been eating bean boozle. That's why you guys saw us eat some bean boozle. I'll jump, I'll jump on and and, when uh, I, what time are you going to be doing yeah. this to? Um, so I got eight more hours at least. All right, so, so I'll, I'll jump on and I'll do a double donation. Yeah, 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 you don't, no, no, you've no. already donated, Please. so you donated yeah. some root beer, you Please, donated yeah. your time, you, but, got, you, know, you goes, kept the engagement. Yeah, that's great that you do, just, uh, you know, losing to the friend is this tough. He was, I heard he was a great person. Yeah, he was the best. He's the best, so it's really nice that you're doing what you do. And Michael, do. you know, Michael would have loved this. He, Michael was kind of a foodie as well. He made his own peanut butter, like, this is his probably had this at the nines. He definitely had a big 99 guy, exactly. Yeah, so, awesome. Well, thank you for having me. I don't want to take up more of your time, but no, no, this, this was awesome. this was fantastic. Thank right. you for hey, joining Space in. Man pla uh, <laughs> Space Man Splash Fam, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, the Space you know, Fam is a big fan of uh, yeah. of culinary barts. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, that, well, I'm glad. And you know, just give me give me a follow, whatever. I, I look forward to making more videos, and I look forward to coming back sometime. Yeah, guys, make sure Short you comment. He'll bits. he'll read them. He'll respond to them. Yeah, you know? I'm gonna, I'll look back. I gotta look. Yeah, I'll definitely respond for sure. We are now Space Man Splash Fam. Um, but yeah, awesome. awesome. All right, Sam. All right, peace out, baby. Love you too, man. Do oh. I lock it on the way out? Or? Nah, just do you, you want me to do your thing? Nah, I got it. You got it. Yeah, it's your thing. Right, thank you so much. All right, thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course, dude. This That's was awesome. so much fun. We'll do it again. Definitely. And we'll, uh, we'll, 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 we'll go out into the world to make some content as well. All right, let's, let's do some trips. Let's do and it. we'll make, we'll fucking hold a gun to Tyler's head in a video game. We can do some food reviews. Yeah, exactly. You know, let's, 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 let's branch out. Definitely. I love it. All right. That was fun. Yeah, have a good one, buddy. Love you too. Man, now we gotta watch you play Overwatch again. Oh, we don't have to. We can do something else, you know? He's so cool, guys. He's so cool. See about. Okay, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. All right, guys.